Hey everyone, it's Chris with Artifact. Today we're in our store and I'm going to be doing a product feature on our number 705 field bag. Our field bag, uh, I called it that because it's like a messenger but considerably smaller. I, I've never cared for messengers that are like really wide because when you're carrying them uh, in a uh, cross-body carry and you're, let's say you're late, you're running in an airport or whatever, they just like want to slide around <clears throat> and they just don't really keep their shape. Um, and I've never really had objects that really fit, fit inside them as well. So with this one, it is designed to hold up to a 15 inch laptop. It has a back pocket here. Uh, typically I'll carry like magazines or notebooks, stuff like that that's really quick, quick access. Uh, this handle is a nice detail because you can carry it kind of like a briefcase um, if you don't want to sling the shoulder or particularly like when you're getting out of the car you want it it's always what you're going to gravitate to to grab it and uh, it has a removable shoulder strap the D-rings are secured here with <clears throat> 11 ounce leather this is nice thick leather that's not going to split and they're secured with hand hammered brass rivets. It has brass hardware throughout the bag and it is hand patinaed to give it a nice aged look. This is an 18 ounce waxed twill and <clears throat> when you open it up it has two <coughs> pardon me two pockets here and then one large pocket in here. This one was a uh, staged with a ticking pillow so it does not come with that. I'm sorry. And, and then what I like to do with these is I use our smaller zip pouches to put other items like my uh, technology cords, my checkbook, other things like that, and they go inside there. Um, and so let me, let me explain some of the design inspiration that came into this bag. For one, we'll start with this lift the dot fastener. This is a classic World War II fastener that uh, it's in raw brass that we hand patinaed. And the way it closes, this system here, it was designed so you can close it with one, one hand. You just slide your fingers underneath this leather tab here and then it can click shut just like that. So that way you're not pushing like you might have uh, some sort of a device or something with a screen that you don't want to necessarily be pushing that metal fastener against. And uh, I took this design directly from a military gas bag, specifically the model M6. And I can uh, show you that right here where I pulled that from. And here's, this is kind of a mid to late war one that's in the, uh, it's in the OD7 green. They would have been khaki earlier, but they use webbing for theirs, but it's the same principle. You slide your finger in here and then you can snap it very easily without pushing on. And I think their concern at the time was the glass lenses on the gas mask uh, for, you wouldn't want those to be broken. Another detail <clears throat> that I took into consideration with the design of this bag, I wanted it to be small, but I still wanted it to be roomy. And if you'll notice the gusset of it, it has a taper here. See how at the bottom, the spread is wider than at the top. Uh, it sits nice on your hip that way, but it also is deceptive in that it can hold uh, a lot of nice items in here. You can get your laptop, you can even get a folded sweater or something or your lunch. And, uh, and this was borrowed from yet another military bag from my collection. Uh, and it's the uh, M1936 pattern musette bag that was used during World War II. And so if you take a look at this, I love these buckles, but they're kind of cumbersome to, to uh, have to undo every time. But if you notice here, I was looking at this bag one day and noticed how it had this taper and I, and I really liked that idea. So I brought that over into the other bag. And uh, let's get a shot of it on. This bag being that it's the size that it is, it works really well for both men and women to carry it. It doesn't look like a gigantic bag uh, on a smaller person. one of my go-to bags. It's a very just convenient bag and it breaks in really nicely. 
So that concludes our overview of the 705 field bag. If you have any other questions about this product or others, be sure to visit our website at artifactbags.com. Thank you for watching.